Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going and welcome to your daily dose of Mech Warrior Online. It is time that we're gonna play the Kodiak because the Kodiak's mobility is not atrocious anymore and therefore we're gonna take the good old spirit bear in a brawling setup and we're gonna crush our enemies, see them driven before us and hear the lamentation of the mech techs. Let's go and see what we can do with this build here. As you can see we got an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 on the right shoulder, we got some SRMs with Artemis here on the left shoulder as well as one in the center, that's a whooping 78 damage alpha strike. We also got two are small lasers but that's just for you know a little bit of giggling those really don't uh, add too much to the build however this is good and if we double tap our ultra auto cannon 20 we deal additional 20 damage which means our burst fire cap capacity is all of a sudden 98 damage we can overpower enemies quickly if we get to close range we also run an xl engine 400 which is the biggest one that we can take we also have a mask for a nice burst of speed and all of a sudden this mech here runs over 80 kph it is really a sprinter it can get into the fights quite quickly and then get the close range damage out which is, which is what I really like about the build. The rest of the mech is just heat management and a little bit of ammo. We are running 19 double heat sinks. It's cold enough for most fights and uh, yeah the ammo is um, also hopefully enough for most fights. By the way uh, first game I have this ton of AC20 ammo uh, as SRM ammo. So I had more SRM ammo in the first game. I switched that out for the second game because I needed more AC20 ammo. Cool thing about the Ultra 20 is that it shoots at 360 or 378 meters range which is quite sizable. We can actually peak early on with that and it has uh, double the range as its maximum range. So we can engage at about like five to six hundred meters and already deal damage with it. It's really really good. On top of that, we have a good chunk of armor and it's a 100 ton assault mech that just wrecks like a wrecking ball. Let's take a look at the skill build here. Now, as you can see, I had an old build here <laughs> that needed to be the Ultra Auto Cannon Jam duration here. But I wanted to go for firepower to get all the missile nodes because they uh, actually add a lot. But what I wanted more is kind of almost maximum survivability. On top of that, we got maximum cool run here, almost maximum heat containment, 60% rated approbation for good defensive maneuvers and then double cool shot plus a UAV to keep the mech uh, cold and to be able to brawl all the time and have a little bit of surveillance around us when we need it. This is the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day we are playing the Robolite Oasis and we are playing Skirmish and um uh, we actually agreed on going to the left side to the Fox 6 area. This is the thing that I really do like. I like fighting here. So we're gonna take that high ground. We're gonna move around here and we're gonna try to face our enemies head on. So let's see if that's possible. I'm also using my mask a lot to actually get into a good position early on. The cool thing is we have 377 meters on our Ultra Auto Cannon 20, which means that we can shoot at about, I would say 600 meters, let's say 500 meters uh, to actually deal some damage already. And uh, that's good. So we're gonna wait for my friends to arrive we are here we have a big murder ball going that's perfect that's what you need in a mission like that and um, I think we're gonna oh god that's that's a lot of long range and we're gonna take it a little bit slower at this point enemies are not even close to being here and I was hoping that those guys would actually be quite aggressive and they would push over here to Fox 6 Fox 5 and um, you know give us a bit of an opportunity to get their lights and mediums down quickly but I oh don't know why me there are so many opportunities to shoot somebody Maybe it was just a random laser wash. We also didn't really take damage. But the cool thing is that, you know, we have something like a firing line here. They have something like a firing line. And uh, maybe we can get something out of this. Problem is that currently there is a lot of long range happening. And I cannot do anything about it. Except for sneaking down. Uh, Rifleman, you want to get the high ground or you want to go around? That guy's running a PPC and some AC2s. All right. So I want to actually go down to Gulf 6 into Gulf 5. I wonder if I can do that, because there's a lot of sniping happening. But if I do it, I'd probably be alone. Alright, I'm gonna flank all six. Low ground. Alright, so we have a light mech with us, and I'm gonna bring my Kodiak. Let's see if we can find somebody. Maybe the enemies are actually trying to sneak upon us as well, and then we'd have a nice fight one on one or two on two. I like that we have that light mech with us, that's really nice. And again, I couldn't really do anything up there on the firing line anyway, so... Let's wait for the mask to ramp down again. Um, and then we're gonna go in. Oh boy, this is scary as hell. Oh, there's a guy. Alright, 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 700 meters. I'm gonna wait for my friends before I make another move. It's a Viper with an ERPPC. So, oh, this guy is not... They saw me, right? This guy is not hittable. 700 meters, Timberwolf. Alright, so we have Suppressor Fire coming out. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna take, um, this piece of cover. Nah, it's fine. 
Oh, this is everybody. Hi. All right, got a bit of damage on the Vapor Eagle. And uh, they know. Guys, push up the high ground now. We have a distraction going on in the low ground. Do something with it. All right, here we go. It's the Vapor Eagle. I couldn't quite hit him there. But he's under heavy pressure, so that's good. Now, what are we doing with our with our mech? Mm, don't want to follow the Vapor, I think. No, somebody is on it already. So we're going to go over here and try to, try to do something. All right, let's push it. Okay, got some damage in. Uh, again, we are just a distraction here. Okay. Try to move backwards with the mask as much as possible. And there is a rifleman. We are jammed, which is not great. Team is rolling over them. Let's go. This is where we go all in. Okay, let's go for it. Come on. Oh, God, I should have twisted that. All right, anyway. I mean, that Timberwolf is about to die. Right? Cool shot. That's it. Perfect. Let's go. That's a kill. That's the power of the Cody Arc. And double kill. And triple? I don't know. <laughs> Six and four. This is looking very well. Uh, we destroyed his leg. Perfect. He's not going to go anywhere. That's a Viper down. Let's keep up the mask. And go for it. I cannot get a clear shot, though. Okay. That's a jam. Perfect. Okay. So there's a guy calling for assistance in the back. Is that the Vapor Eagle? It's a Trebuchet. Oh, they have some long ranges there. I'm going to lead the push. Follow me. Follow, follow, follow. Get in. Okay, I try to just get a little bit of damage in there. There's a Timberwolf. It's a better target. Let's go. Getting shot in the back is not great, but I think it was just friendly fire. All right. So, Vapor Eagle on the left. Trebuchet on the right. I'm going to go to uh, the left, right? Too early. Uh, seven and six. All right. Let's get him. Oh. That's uh, No, that's not quite a kill. Come on. That's a kill. And here we go. Another timber. Ooh. I love that brawl. You're dead? No, you're not because my... My auto cannon is jammed. All right, let's keep going. There is... Actually, there's somebody on the high ground behind us. It's 600 meters. That's the vapes. That's the eagle. Eagle and trebuchet. No, wait. That's not a trebuchet. This is not a moon. This is a... Mad Cat Mark II. Okay, I'm gonna stay a little bit back. Try to try to poke him with my auto cannon. Don't want to brawl with him again, right? Um, can we go for it? It's uh, not quite doable. Oh, we have a jam going on. All right, so at this point we're gonna go forward. Mask it up. So we need the. I mean, they are they are currently engaged. Auto cannon, where are you? Don't abandon me. It's the last shot, actually. That's the last shot. People are actually salty here? What is going on? <laughs> Alright. So where's the Vapor Eagle? There is uh, somewhere. Absolutely somewhere. We have no auto cannon anymore, so we are down to the missiles. Auto cannon is empty. Um, he might actually get the kill on me if he comes around the corner and gets, uh, gets the advantage, like gets the initiative on me. Uh, let's see. I can't see him. It is the Vapor Eagle. And that has been the Vapor Eagle for the longest time. We got it! Nice! So our flanking maneuver actually worked out. And yes, I should have twisted a little bit more. I know, my center torso looks pretty bad right now, but we survived. And we dealt a good chunk of damage. So we got three killing blows, eight assists, we got 700 damage roundabout, three kill most damage dealt, and 452 taken with some components destroyed. That was the first round, so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing, what is it here, the Canyon Network? We are playing Domination? Let's get into the center of this. This is the first time I'm playing, actually, Canyon Network the new version of it in domination mode. This is gonna be very interesting. I also shifted a bit of ammo around. I have a bit more Ultra Auto Cannon 20 ammo, less SRM ammo because we will shoot the 20 more than the SRMs probably because it has a longer range and we can kind of peek with it a little bit. But hey, let's uh, let's get into the center of the map and see how this is going. I definitely do not want to take this ramp yet, but uh, let's see. It's perfectly fine for my long range guys to trade some hits early on and we're just gonna get into position. It could also be that we are going Going over here to the right side. Oh, there's a guy. There's a Grand Dragon with two heavy PPCs. I want that guy. All right, so let's go. We have uh, about 500 meters on that dude. Is he gonna come down here to take cover? Oh, I think he is. I think he is. But there's more. Oh boy. That's 500 meters. It's hittable. There's the dragon. No, it's a Roughneck, I think. No, it's a dragon. Never, never mind, never mind. So we dealt a bit of damage here. I'm gonna take this thing as cover. Large pulses are actually... That's everybody. 
Mm, mm, I should have shot my missiles as well. Okay, anyway. Cool, 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 cool. So, a bit of damage. What? Why are you jumping? Oh, yeah, that's why. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, we got some damage in. <laughs> and uh, I think the enemies know where we are right now. There's a guy. Just say hi with the uh, with the ballistics. Uh, but now that they know where we are, they're probably going to overwatch this area. We're going to go backwards. Um, shall we turn around and get the guys in Charlie 4? I'm going to go for it. Charlie 4, guys. Let's go left side. Okay, here we go. We have a light mag right around the corner. It's a Piranha. Uh, we hit him? Uh, only with the auto cannon and a little bit. That's a way better target for us. Hi. I'm gonna shoot you again. Ah, that's a big miss, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna drop my UAV and we're gonna dodge this. Charlie 4, guys, it's where the enemies are. Let's kill him. Let's actually go for it. Gonna peek in. Here's the Hellbringer again. Ooh, Hellbringer Hotel is almost down. Cool. Can mask in and out like that. That's pretty good. And here we go for the next target. Yeah, face me, bro. Face me. Okay, let's get back. Ooh, one of our friends is actually being... No, 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 no. There was one guy behind us. Yeah, I know, but... What? He hit me in the back and destroyed something. That's not cool. I was hoping that, you know, my friends would do something about that guy, but... Uh, okay. So, we gotta be a bit uh, careful here. A little bit. Let's take it slower. We are also dying. The guy in the back is actually getting taken care of. That's perfect. Um, what about the guys on the outskirts, on the flanks? Here's a Grand Dragon again. Hey, buddy. I missed that shot, the second one. Uh, yep, they still have those peekers. Ooh, we are dying horribly. Why? Why is that happening? Guys, be quicker with this. What is taking so long? I mean, it's an Annihilator. Yeah, it has a lot of armor, but not that much. We are investing three mechs for one. That means our center is not strong right now. But there is an assault mech that we can possibly hit a bunch of times. I want to go. I want to go. I'm stuck. I'm super stuck. Oh, <laughs> dudes. We need mobility. That's the Hellbringer from earlier. Perfect. So three and five. We are coming back from it, guys. Where do we go? What's the tag? The tag is a friendly tag, hopefully. All right. Let's go behind. Behind the main force here. Will they see me coming? Probably. Nope. I'm gonna get out of this. Okay, they know now, but we can possibly get that Marauder, uh, Metcat. Let's go for it. Good. Good, 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 good. Four and six. I think this is doable. Maybe not anymore. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, those guys are getting herded in the center. That's pretty good. That's a uh, Leg Raven. All right, let's get him. All right, all right, all right, all right. I probably want to go for the bigger guys, though. Because the Raven is not that big of an issue here. Can we? Somehow? Yeah, we got him. That's my side torso. We got the Raven as well. This is it. <laughs> we are dying here. Horribly dying. And that's how we do it. All right. Anyway, it was a good brawl. We dealt a thousand damage here. That was pretty good. We got four killing balloons. Uh, and this is our Tim Bubble <laughs> having no weapons anymore, but that is okay. So, man, Canyon Network as a brawler is a real struggle. You really need to figure out where to go, what the dynamics of the ma maps are here. And um, I think we did well. I mean, yes, we did. We dealt a thousand damage in this build here. <laughs> that was good. I was having a blast, literally. We got four killing blows. We got two assists. We got three kill most damage dealt with. 1,083 damage done, 500 taken, and six components destroyed. That, my friends, was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.